Hi everybody, it's Janelle, and this is a response to a request from Livid Kitten 2. She watched my lock maintenance videos, and what she asked was that I try to get a close-up of my retwist and the clipping of my lock, so I thought I'd put this video up real quick in response to that. Livid Kitten, I hope this helps for you. Anyway, I actually washed my hair yesterday, and I did a quick retwist on it, although I didn't clip it, and even though this is supposed to be my day off from work, I've gotten called in because someone else hasn't showed up, and there are no other substitutes, so I have to leave in a couple of minutes and get in. But anyway, I thought I'd take the time, since I did rinse my hair this morning, and I fact was actually going to go ahead and clip it and sit under the dryer. But since it's still damp, I'll see if I can get a close-up, Livid Kitten, so you can see exactly how I palm roll my locks. Okay, let me set this to get a little closer in just a moment. Hopefully it will focus pretty well. Okay, there we go. I think that works all right. And then Livid Kitten, um, as I said in my first video on um, lock maintenance, um, you want to do this while your hair is damp. If you've not just washed it, just gotten out of the shower, just washed it, um, you'll want to keep a spray bottle of um, water handy so that as you're working you can spritz your hair and dampen it. Now, um, I don't have any twist gel with me, but um, what I've been doing anyway, the last several times I've retwisted, was um, just used a mixture of jojoba oil and some essential oils and applied that to my hair while it's damp. And I'll go ahead and show you how I twist. Now, looking at the close-up here, you can see that um, my locks are about six months old. Six, seven months old. Sorry, this is jumping a little bit. I'll try to move a little slower. But they have started to lock, and so you know each lock is pretty distinct now. I can actually pick up each one and do it by feel. Um, I don't have to have a mirror anymore to figure out where each lock is. But anyway, what I do, I grab an individual lock. Let me see if I can get some of that other hair out of the way so you can see. But I've got the lock that I'm going to twist, and let's see, I guess that's the best angle. Let me move over here a little bit so you can see a little better. But with my hair down, what I do now, this is palm rolling, but again, you can see the knot lock is not long, so it's actually not going to be within the center of my palms here. It actually kind of rolls in between my fingers. But what I do, I take, um, I'm left-handed, so I roll clockwise. And you can see I've got the hair in between my fingers here as if you know, I'm putting my fingers together as if it's a palm. And then what I do, I take my hand, one hand, I roll one hand up and the other hand down, just like that with the lock in between. And that's how I roll the lock. Once I'm done, I will get that one out of the way and I will pick up the next lock and do the same thing between the fingers and gently roll. And with the length of my locks right now, three times maybe, if that much. Um, if it's one that's being a little resistant, maybe four times. But my locks are not extremely long right now, so I don't have to do a whole lot of rolling. I'm sorry. I'm really trying to get this at an angle so you can see what I'm doing. And get that lock out of the way. But here's what I'm working on between the palms here and it is actually a rolling motion you can see that it rolls just like that now if I wasn't going to work like I said I would probably put some clips on and send under my hooded dryer oh for about 15-20 um, minutes until they were mostly dry what I'm concerned about is um, the roots getting dry. Now hold the twist. And what you want to remember when you do this is that um, okay, you can see new growth up here, which is fine. I'm not a real fanatic about the new growth. But when you retwist your locks like this, 
You want to make sure, let me just show you, this is what you don't want to do. You don't want to twist these so tight that it gets really tight and kinked up here at the scalp. That's going to, that's going to be what contributes to thinning of your locks at the base. And eventually, um, the hair, because it's under too much stress, will eventually thin and then break off, and then you will lose a lock. So while I'm twisting the lock so that you know the new growth does get twisted and get spun into the lock, you can see right there, it's spun in. I'm not spinning it so tight that um, the hair is going to be under any kind of stress. And actually, when you palm roll, unless you're using a very heavy application of gel or maybe honey mixed with um, olive oil or jojoba oil, something like that, to hold the twist, the twist is going to loosen up over the course of several days anyway. Um, that's just the nature of the beast, and that's just what it's going to do. I don't worry about it too much. Um, in between a full retwist, um, if I see that the lot, you know, my hair looks like it's getting extremely fuzzy, I might just do a quick, you know, a real quick kind of smooth down kind of thing down the length of the lock just to kind of control the frizzies a little bit um, and make it look a little bit neater. But I'm becoming a lot less anal about the fuzziness of my locks. I just let it go. And actually, I think um, a lot of times I'm the only one that worries about how fuzzy they appear. Um, nobody else comments. Nobody else says that, you know, it looks like my hair is just really whack, anything like that. So I think a lot of times I'm the only one that worries about how fuzzy they look. Um, it's apparently that old thing about, you know, your your own worst critic, you know, things that you think look really bad, people just don't notice at all, you know, and we're being a little too close to the situation. Now you notice um, I've got my hands overhead when I'm doing the, my locks in the back like this. Um, it's kind of hard for me to hold my hands in the other position and do my hair in the back and in the top, but I'm basically doing the same type of rolling motion. It's just that my fingertips are turned, let's see if I can get back to the top of my head here in opposition to each other this way and they're rolling. Still rolling counterclock or clockwise but because I'm doing the back of my head and I'm doing it myself um, I'm having to reposition my arms. Now let's see I will adjust this a little more so you can actually see whoops wrong way sorry just a second there we go so you can see the lock here at the top got it in between the palms here and then I'm rolling and rolling and yes I do roll down the length of the lock so that um, any hairs that have become unintegrated if that is a word with the lock itself I can kind of smooth it back in and it will take hold once again but I do that all over um, with the length of hair that I have right now it takes oh, maybe about 45 minutes an hour at the max um, I've got what everyone teases me and calls my forelock right here. It's in the center of my forehead. Um, it kind of goes whichever way it wants to at the moment. Um, now yesterday when I did this, I had all of the locks back and I rinsed this morning in the shower and of course the ones on top, they're getting a little long now and they're getting some length and they're kind of falling back into the previous um, direction that I had them going, which was kind of to the sides um, coming out from the middle. But that's okay. I love it anyway. Anyway, Livid Kitten, I hope that was close enough for you to see what was going on a little better when I retwist. And anyway, I'm going to have to get out of here because I'm going to have to go ahead and get in. Um, like I said, I hope it was real helpful, but this was a real quick one for me. I hope all of you have a blessed day. Um, hugs and peace and kisses to you all. And I shall talk to you later. Bye-bye. Take care.